Well, good morning, Elegance family. Today, I wanted to bring to you uh, the Dollar Tree bulbs that you can turn this bulb into a high-end bulb. Okay, first, we're going to figure out what bulbs that you want. This is your first thing. Okay, is to figure out how you want your bulbs to be designed. Okay, with this particular bulb here, this is one that I had already got prepared just to show you that this is one here that's uh, it's a smaller bowl but it has a beautiful design to it now however uh, with this particular one here these are bigger bulbs here these bulbs are bigger so these still look nice too that's shaped just like that so what you would want to do this particular bulb here now what you can do there's two ways that you can do this you can either leave them clear just put it together if this was clear you would have it together like that and then after when you finish everything then you can spray them whichever color you want or if you choose not to spray on the outside but have it inside this is the purpose of me doing this then you can put it in and it keeps the shine um, the other way it dulls it which that makes still make beautiful bulbs as well but with this one right here, if you want to keep the shine in it, then what you do is that you would just do the pouring, the white paint pouring, just pour it in, turn it this way, turn it the opposite way to let the paint drain, to come down. Uh, after you've left this set for like maybe, what, a few hours or so, where the paint is coming down, then lift it up and set it upward um, it all depends on how much paint you put in if you put quite a few paint, uh, quite a bit of paint which this bulb here does not require a lot of paint just a small amount and sometimes you know you may have to kind of you know hit it around uh, for a while in order to really get it full but if you don't really have time of doing all the hitting then you end up putting a little bit more in and the more you put in the quicker it will fill but you would have to keep this turned down, and I would say maybe a whole day, actually a day, for it to drain. And, and then afterwards, whatever paint's going to be on there is going to glue itself to the bulb. Then you can turn it over and then let it air dry to dry out. Now, another trick that I found out that is easier to do, and you got to excuse the paint around here because this could be very easy to clean up around here. But another thing that, uh, um, that I wanted to let you know is when you're doing your pouring, you can also use Mod Podge to mix in with your paint. The Mod Podge, it clamps it and sticks it in as a sealer. So like a lot of times, you know, sometimes if, uh, if you don't use the Mod Podge, sometimes one side would be a little bit thicker than the other side, which you can't really tell, but if you're really looking at it, put it in the sun or whatever, you know, or put it up, then you'll be able to see that one side may be thinner than the other side because of the paint, you know, the way it it go. But when you, uh, but the majority of the time when you're using the Mod Podge and you're mixing it and pouring it in, it gives it an even seal. So this is something here that you may want to consider. It's not necessary, I mean, um, especially if you're going to cover it with glitter and everything, then that'll still come out nice. So with this particular bulb here, you would put it here. Uh, certain bulbs have different size of the holes. So it's better to have the fit inside of it. Because if not, then you're gonna have this, which that's okay too. And that's where your epoxy come in, the epoxy glue. Because the epoxy glue seals that. You hold it for a few minutes, for like maybe three to four or five minutes max. Um, I think it says five minutes max. And then you can get it and seal it in and bam, it's already done. And this epoxy glue holds really well. A couple hours and, or a few hours, then you come back and then you do your decorating or design on what you're going to do. If you're going to spray paint it, uh, I would advise you to let 
the uh, epoxy set and I would do that maybe the next day. I would just take it and spray it. If it's already sprayed and everything like that, you know, you just hook it in there. Maybe if, what, three hours, four hours max, then you can get it in to start decorating. So now that I explained that well to where you understood it. And with your small, now this is your design though. This particular bulb here, sometimes if you can buy them white, that's even better better than clear. I always try and get the white. Sometimes, you know, I just get tired of just pouring white in and then you have to go through the process of draining and everything when you can just buy the bowl, the plastic bowls already painted. It's a lot easier, less messy. Now what we can do here, let's say this is, this is a design that you can put. You can do designs like this. And I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm talking about because I'm going to be drilling. And you can have bulbs that's just like this. And those are pretty. When you do your design, you spray paint it or if you got your paint in there, you know, you already together. And then you put your Mod Podge on it. Uh, and then you can sprinkle it with your um, with your glitter that turns out really pretty uh, shiny. Another way you can design your bulb is you can do the smaller bulb which is this particular bulb here and with this here let me see if I can show you uh, with this particular bulb. Yes. That bulb here, it can always, these bulbs are like different sizes, but they can always fit into one another. Uh, as long as the hole is a little smaller. So always check that out. Okay, now with this particular bulb here, this is another one. And if you wanted to put that like that, you can. There's another type of bulb. See how pretty that would look? That's another type of bowl. And we would put something like that there. And you glue it with your epoxy. Now the epoxy glue is for jobs like where you don't have an attachment, but you have to attach this to this. And this is what, uh, what seals it, is that epoxy. So this is bulb number two. We saw bulb number, oh, let me see, I'm getting them mixed up now. This is bulb number, this is, let's go over it again. This is bulb number one. You would have this bulb here. That's the smaller circle though. If you wanna do that, you can. This would be it, bulb number one. Okay, so now we can do bulb number two. Remember this only has two. This would go with three. So you can do bulb number three. And it would be this way. So you got your one, two, three. This is this way, bulb number one, two. Okay, now we go to bulb number, bulb number three. We can use this bulb. This is a bigger bulb. Still number two, still two, two bulbs, but this is bigger, which still gives you a different look. Smaller. And bigger and still you can put your top there that's the difference okay and you can do you can kind of confuse with these bulbs here <laughs> um, with this particular bulb here 
let's take both numbers with the ones with the two. Remember, it's two. Now these are baby bulbs. You can put this bulb on top of here and you can still get your ornament. Put an ornament here on top. Either that one, that size. Either way, you can go with a bigger. I always like to go bigger. So, with the, because it makes it look more rich. It makes it look better. The bigger the, the hook. It all depends though. Really. So this is the smaller bulb. Sorry. Okay. This would be the smaller bulb here. So you got your oh, it's trying to get away from me. So okay, so you got your three. You have one, two, three. So let's go over it again. So we want to get and remember we're dealing with a big bulb. The small bowl. It's like four different sizes that we're dealing with. The big one next to the big number bowl number three, one, two, three, and this bowl number four, the baby bowl. The Dollar Tree has all these bulbs. This is where I purchased them from. So with this particular one here, um, I'm getting kind of confused now because there's so many of them. You could, uh, you don't have to work with four bulbs. So a uh, four, you, you can just work with three. Three would probably be common to work with these three, and or you can either take that out and work with these. That's the biggest next to the biggest and then the small. This particular one you don't have to uh, use. Or you can use these three. Just do it off by threes. So. And then you have your bulb that's shaped like a light bulb and that's also at the Dollar Tree. All these bulbs are at the Dollar Tree. Let's start with I'll show you how to drill. Let me take this particular one here set the rest of them aside. This is the one that I had already. I can go with this particular uh, bulb here which is a bigger one but I'm not going to do that one. I want to keep them small, not too big, because I already have big bulbs. I have huge bulbs, so I don't need too many of the huge bulbs. So that's pretty, though. That's really pretty. Kind of liking this one. Kind of liking this size. Yeah, that's pretty. This is more of the little one. Mm, that one's it's nice too. I like it. But I think I might want to try this particular bulb here. I would go more with this one. I'm going to open up the glue. This is the epoxy gorilla glue. So I'm putting that one in there. So this is what I'll be gluing. So I'll glue that in with that. And it looks like that. I guess I'll do that one. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. This one here first. So what I'm going to do is this little line here is what you drill a hole. So what you want to do, you don't want to go too hard with it because if you do, because if you go too hard with it, 
going to get the goat in there. You're gonna get this, you're gonna pinch this, close it, and then put it through the hole. And just push it down in there. And voila, there you got it. That's your hook. So now, I can, Continue. If I want to use this here, I'll do it like this. I'll put it here. And let's take the paper off of the glue. Okay, you pop the seal off. And this here, these two here, is your snap. You snap it. That snaps it. closes it so now we're ready to get started okay you push it at the same time that you're doing it, and that that way you get your even flow Up. You want to put this on here. Okay. I'm assuming because this is thinner here that we would use this. You stir it, you mix it, it comes out evenly. You have to push both at the same time, and then it comes out even. You mix it very well. Make sure you have a good mixture. And this is to get a, get a, you wanna do all around your bowl. this first. Don't do it the way I did it. Do, do it the opposite. You want to do it this way first. This is the way you want to get it. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. Okay, so now I use the epoxy and oh my God, this epoxy, it took five minutes. I had to hold it, but this is solid. 
So it feels like it's a part of the bowl. I mean, it's in there. So uh, I know this is not going anywhere. Uh, you'd have to really kind of drop it to for it to kind of pop and it may not thin. I'm not sure, but that's just how secure this is right now. A lot better than doing it with the glue gun. If you have to use the glue gun, um, then that's fine too. Uh, just make sure that the glue is the hottest that you can get it because they do have high temperature glue. And the only reason why that I like this is because it is clear but it's so thin until you can really, you know, cover up a lot of the, the glue. You can't even see it. So it's really nice. Um, Next week, though, I'll be bringing a video, working on more bulbs. Um, have other excite, exciting bulbs uh, that I'm coming up with, and I know next week you would probably love it. So just stay tuned for that one, and I'll be back. Um, here's the other bulb here. I decided not to put the little one up here. Uh, I just went on and kept this down, you know, as two. So these are the bulbs here, and. They turned out beautiful, really beautiful. When I when I decorate them, they are going to really be gorgeous. Uh, this right here, this is another one that was just on the video that I just put out. Uh, it's a plain, plain one. And this one right here is a really nice one too, as well. Uh, I want to do a little bit more with it though, uh, to really make it pop, to bring it out more. So. Um, Next week, I'll probably add this in with it, with the ones that I'm doing now. But these are really, 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 really cute. And I think I'm going to make a lot of these particular ones here. Um, these particular ones, and maybe with them by two. You can also make them as big as you want, as big as your tree. You can also make them fours, by fours. I think that's a little bit... Mm, too big for my tree so I wouldn't do it by fours because I already have the huge round ones and that's big enough but the ones like these these are really nice so I'm going to uh, enjoy decorating these and next to